Support for Unfolding Word comes from viewers and listeners like you. To learn more about church-centric Bible translation and how you can get involved, please visit unfoldingword.org. Since the coronavirus pandemic brought everyday life to a screeching halt, life in Venezuela has been doubly difficult. The country, once one of the richest in South America, has been struggling for 10 years to survive the financial chaos triggered by the country's disastrous economic policies. And that was before the pandemic hit the country with new shortages of food, water, medicine, and many other necessities. Despite having the largest proven oil reserves in the world, Venezuela also is suffering from a critical shortage of fuel, which may have contributed to the government's recent decision to ban the sale of gasoline. The ban has only served to further separate people already isolated by stay-at-home orders. However, for Bible translator Alberto, the quarantine has actually served to accelerate his current project translating Unfolding Words' 50 Open Bible Stories from Spanish into his native language, Piaroa. Using Unfolding Words' Translation Studio software, Alberto is translating stories from Genesis to Revelation. I can work from home. As long as I have the internet and the computer, it is enough to do the translation of the biblical stories. There are many social restrictions, and the isolation is almost mandatory, but this situation has helped me focus only on the translation of the story. In my case, sometimes I don't even look at the time, but when I realize it, it's already late at night, and that's how the day goes by. But also, the translations of the stories are progressing. I already finished story number 11. Trusting and asking God for wisdom while working to finish the translation of the complete stories by the end of June 2020. Alberto is 30 years old. His father was a pastor who was blind, but instead of using a Braille Bible, Alberto's dad would have his young son read scripture aloud in Spanish and then memorize the verses. The weekly ritual left a deep impression on Alberto, who says he wants every Piaroa family to benefit from scripture like he and his family did. I've been wanting to translate, but I did not have the tools or the program. Now that I have the tools of unfolding word, I have no excuses. That is why I'm translating the 50 biblical stories. Also, because it is urgent that the Piaroa communities have the information from the Word of God in their mother tongue. Alberto graduated from a Venezuelan university and became a civil engineer. In 2012, he began leading short-term mission trips to his native state of Amazonas in southern Venezuela. As he went back year after year, the lack of scripture or any other Christian material in the Piaroa language concerned him more and more. So in 2018, he left his engineering job to pursue translating the Bible into Piaroa full time. These days, Alberto works for the missions department at his Baptist church. And though he has taken several Bible translation courses, his efforts to translate the Bible into Piaroa have gone slowly. In February, Alberto and nine other Venezuelan pastors and translators went to Colombia, where they spent a week learning how to do church-centric Bible translation at a workshop organized by Unfolding Word. One of the main strategies behind church-centric Bible translation is to first translate software tools like Translation Studio from English into other widely spoken gateway languages, such as Spanish. From there, bilingual people like Alberto can use the software to translate Bible stories and the Bible itself into one of the thousands of minority languages spoken around the world, languages like Piaroa. At first, it was difficult for me to translate and understand, 
but over time I picked up the rhythm and I have learned the variation of the grammatical order of the Piaroa and also understand the value of each word that I translate. That is important for the understanding of biblical history. The main challenge with the Piaroa language is that we do not have a standardized grammatical order and I've had to build it through my oral comprehension. That is why I have to read the translation over and over, review my notes and revise the translation again until I find a connection in the story so that the sentences make sense. Alberto is optimistic about the impact that the open Bible stories will have on the Piaroa people. He is hoping to visit a Piaroa village in July if the COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted. He says he's worried that if things don't improve soon, the health, economic, and social situation in Venezuela will get even more complicated. In the meantime, with Translation Studio and other tools such as Translation Core, Alberto hopes to one day soon help translate the entire Bible into Piaroa. Knowing the biblical stories in the language of their heart will finally allow us to have something to teach the children with and also the youth and adults, and we would have our first digital resources that will be accessible to all. It would be interesting for the Piaroas to have the complete Bible in the language of their heart, so that they know the Word of God is also part of their lives. I believe that if we make the effort and we are willing to work on a new translation, which can be understandable and accessible, we will be able to have the Bible in our language soon.